Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager at La MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. And today I'm actually not at the dealership. I took one of our 21 F-150s to the house because I want to talk about this new Pro Power onboard system, this generator that's available on the new 2021 F-150. And what's a better way to do it than just go ahead and take it home. You get some stuff out of the garage that I might use in a different projects or different things that I have uh, to do with the truck that I might see in, in, in use in normal day. So uh, we're going to do this uh, video uh, and we're going to kind of go over that. Now we're going to go over the availability of the Pro Power on board. Is it available on the gas engines? Is it only available on hybrids? How does it work? Does is it, it going to turn on? We're going to go through all that in this video as well as exactly how to use it. Uh, full in-depth how-to video for the Pro Power Onboard for today's Tech Tuesday with Tim. Now let's go ahead and talk about the availability for the Power Pro Power Onboard. It is available in your gas engine as well as in your hybrid engine. So let's talk about each of those. Your gas engine, the 2.7 liter uh, EcoBoost as well as the 3.5 liter EcoBoost and even the 5.0 liter V8 engine, you can get the two kilowatt Pro Power onboard system. So you will have that system. Now the two kilowatt is gonna give you two outlets back here in the back of the bed, plus your outlets in on the cab, or in the instrument panel, I should say, and if you have a console, also behind the console. So you're gonna have all those outlets. So you could have several outlets in there. Now on all your hybrid, your 3.5 liter full power boost hybrid engines, it's gonna come standard with a 2.4 kilowatt Pro Power onboard giving two outlets like the two kilowatt here in the bed as well as the other ones we just talked about. Now you can also, as optional, can get the 7.2 kilowatt Pro Power onboard for your power boost hybrid engines. Now that one's gonna give you, just like this setup here, you're gonna have four outlets back here, a 120 volt and then a 240 volt above those. Uh, so uh, real nice uh, having all that set up now to use. Uh, we have found out that if you are just, uh, if you're going with the, the you have the 7.2 setup here, uh, keep in mind the capacity is up to 6,000 uh, kilowatts or six kilowatts, I should say, uh, or 6,000 watts uh, for your outlets. So if you're just using the outlets, the four outlets below, uh, you're gonna be maxed out at six thousand watts now to get to the 7.2 or the 7, 7200 watts you're going to have to be able to use that 240 volts so if you don't have one of those outlets up there you're probably going to be maxed out at six thousand watts so keep that in mind that is how that's going to work there's indicator lights on these uh, so you can see uh, you know whether it be in the cab or here if you have that turned on uh, to use the ones back here you're going to have to turn on the pro the generator go into generator mode to do that. So let's jump inside. I want to actually turn the vehicle on, put it in generator mode uh, to show you that. But before we do that, I did want to uh, talk about one other thing uh, real quick I, did, I forgot about. And that is, you know, a lot of people have questioned, you have to have the vehicle turned on. You know, to use these back here, you are going to have to have the vehicle turned on. It, you can go into an idle mode that is going to limit how much, you know, power outage you're going to have uh, for your gas engines. But on these hybrids, you do turn the vehicle on. Uh, the engine won't run constantly it is going to run off of the battery itself uh, so if you you know you don't have uh, enough out of the, the battery or when the battery runs down it will turn the vehicle on the hybrids on uh, to charge up the battery and then turn the vehicle off so it will constantly be running for you uh, but even uh, you have to have a certain amount of gas in the vehicle to even turn it on it'll actually warn you and tell you I had a vehicle that had 17 miles to empty at the dealership it wouldn't let me use the, the generator mode uh, so you will have to have some gas in the vehicle to even go into generator mode but we'll, we'll try to run off the battery that for the most part uh, you'll even find out when we're inside uh, that is going to use the, the battery for the most part but occasionally it may need to turn on especially if you have the AC turned on so if you're wanting to just use these you turn the vehicle on shut your AC off shut any power that you need inside the radio off and that kind of thing so you're putting all the power back here so that way it doesn't keep turning on uh, less often so keep that in mind I have a couple things here we have an air compressor that I had in the garage a shop vac I have a, a, a radio here here, which actually has some outlets in the side of it. I even have this charger here, but actually the battery is fully charged because it charged it completely up while I was uh, rehearsing this, and it's so already charged. Uh, but you can uh, plug some different things in, you know, uh, to the to the vehicle, uh, charging things up, and even you know all kinds of other things. So uh, actually, let me show you a little uh, graph here, and you can see in that graph that Ford uh, shows that each of the different ones, whether it be the two or 2.4 kilowatt or even the 7.2, different projects that you might have or different things whether you're tailgating maybe you're grilling at the game and you're you know setting up different things you want to cool
cooler you can uh, you know plug in a cooler in there you can plug in a radio you can plug in a tv as well and power with those outlets and it kind of shows you some ideas of what your capacity is and what you can use and even on the job site uh, or you know if you have some things you're you're out you know further out from the house and you don't have all the extension cords you can actually plug those things in work right off the tailgate if you need to using those so there's some different projects when, when it comes to that the Ford has set out there said here's some ideas and some projects to how you can utilize this uh, and use the pro power on board so let's jump inside let's start the vehicle up show you how it works Okay, so now we're inside and hopefully you can see the screen real well and I tried to zoom out so you can see the different outlets up here. So uh, here's one idea of one of the outlets and you can see, I actually showed you an image of that earlier, that little light, the, the indicator light that shows you that there's power going to that. So let me show you how this works. Uh, now you can get to the, to the power, pro power on board several different ways and the main way is if you go to features and then you go to pro power on board it's that easy. That's how you can get to it. So a couple different clicks there. I did actually save it as a button down here. So if you have a 12 inch screen, you can go to it that way. Uh, if you have the smaller uh, eight inch screen, smaller, still a nice big screen, but if you have the eight inch touch screen, uh, you can get to, the, to it that way uh, by going to features and the pro power on board. And that's how you can get there. So um, I'm gonna actually go here because I wanna show you. Also, if you have the 12 inch screen, you have the section over here, you can actually cycle through and it's gonna be located in there too. But you can also, you're gonna have a button on there. So if you have the push button start like we have here with a bigger screen, you're gonna see a button up here. Otherwise, if you have, if your uses the key, your button's gonna be over by your headlights. Uh, so it's gonna be located over there. And we don't actually have a vehicle right now with the smaller screen or the, with the, the key start, because this is even available on the XL trim uh, to be able to show you that, but uh, that's where that's gonna be located. So let's just press that button. So if I press the button up there, it's gonna automatically turn it on. Um, not showing it over here, so we're going to go into that. So I actually added a button there. So you can see I actually plugged in into the B outlet, that right side. I actually had the uh, my air compressor plugged into it already. Uh, it was completely empty. The tank was empty uh, when I plugged it in. So as soon as we turned on the generator mode, it went ahead and started running it. As you can see, I can hear it running back there. Uh, as well and then in the A outlet I actually have a couple things plugged in um, both of them are not turned on right now so let me go turn on the radio and then turn on the shot back and let's uh, you can see what it's going to do to that left side so you can see we're using 900 watts right now over here so let's go plug in let me go turn those others on real quick All right, so I turned the radio on and I turned the shop vac on. So I'm running the shop vac and the radio off of the A. It's using uh, 800 watts and I got the air compressor in the B. Of course, I can also in that B plug in a saw and it would probably use less than 100 watts and I'm still way below the 3600 uh, that I probably have there or probably I think you're limited to 3000 on each of those if you're not using uh, the 240 watt outlet there so uh, or 240 volt outlet I mean uh, so real easy to use that's how simple it is now if I shut the generator mode off you can see it took it shut off um, if I hit no so it shut off that and now if I turn it I have no power at all to any of those so if I hit the in fact I don't have any up here either because I shut it off completely on accident so if I hit that turn that on it's going to go ahead and I say yes. So it knows something's plugged in back there. Do I want to turn it on? And I'm telling it, yes, I do. So if I go, I meant to just go out of generator mode there. Okay. Your device has needs some power. So there you go. So on the left side over here, it's, it's limiting what I can plug in. So you'll notice the shot vac, it's not running either because it needs the generator mode turned on to be able to have. So you can plug in some things back there. It's very limited in how much uh, watts that you're getting. I think you're limited to less than 200 out of A. So uh, the radio I think is turned on, but that's probably about it that I can run out of that. So if I want anything else like the shop vac running, I'm gonna have to go into generator mode. So that's how easy it is. Uh, if for some reason you trip any of those, uh, there is a reset on those. So usually it'll flash on the screen, tell you to unplug uh, what you have. So you'll need to unplug those things. And then there's gonna be a little bubble kind of like this. You would just press that button press it in and it would reset each one of those. So uh, you may trip just one and not all of them. So like these might not be tripped, but the ones in the back might be. So you want to unplug it. I think you might have to hit this, the button, the screen 
uh, indicator up here but then at that point you go back you hit that blue and the white button that has to go with that outlet or a set of outlets and then you're going to be you're going to be good and go good to go that way so that's how easy that is to use um, pretty simple now i will show you there is uh, how to find if you you know don't remember one you know more information about this uh, you can press a little eye up there it gives you some information about those like i told you the a zone and the b zone it shows you kind of where all those are located there and it even tells you some basic information right here when you press that but you can also go over here to features owner's manual and you can search for pro power on board so if i click onto there and I think I can even use voice commands for that, but we're just going to type in pro. I'm just going to do pro power. I think it probably will come up earlier. I did pro power on board. So there you go. What is a pro outlet? Uh, there's some different things. Here's your pro power on board information down here as well. So there's a lot of information there. So if I go ahead and go up there to the uh, pro power on board, it gives you more information. So let's go ahead and do the pro power. search uh, there you go we got a little more information so where I found this was under this indicator so if I click on that uh, that's where I found that but there is a video if you go right there's a video right there four minute video and everything that I learned about the pro power on board I got from this video it's Ford's video they have on YouTube they also embedded it into the digital owners manual as well so you can find it right there as well and you can actually save that as a bookmark like I did on this particular vehicle so just bookmark it that way and you can get right to it whenever you need it so I hope you got some good information out of this uh, Tech Tuesday video here. Uh, and as always, you know, don't forget, you can give us a call. You can send us a text message. Numbers are on the screen. Don't forget, you can find our inventory on our website at lawmacarthur.com. But also, just drop your comments down below. Love getting that feedback from you. Uh, love, if you have any questions about the Pro Power on board, put those down there. I do read those and respond to those myself. So feel free to do that. Also, if you have any other Tech Tuesday ideas, drop them down in the comments too. So it gives us some great ideas for future videos. Some of these have come out by customers uh, reaching out to us. Uh, so I want to kind of show you how, how this worked uh, because we had that question asked from some of our customers. And uh, uh, you know they reached out to me and said, hey, this would be a great Tech Tuesday video. So if you have any other ideas, leave those down in the comments. We'll uh, uh, make videos out of those as well for these uh, every Tuesday uh, Tech Tuesday videos. Uh, but also, if you uh, do like our channel, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell. We'll also get notified the next time another video upload to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to like this button, this uh, video. Share it out if you know somebody that's needing this information. And as always, you can find us on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Till the next video, we'll see you later.